hey my loves welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing this beautiful neutral glam look this is a look that i did to attend the real techniques launch party and you guys on snapchat went crazy so here's a tutorial if you want to know how i got this look just stay tuned and keep watching so first i'm going to go in with the bh cosmetics brow palette i'm using a 266 brush by mac and i'm just gonna line beneath my eyebrows like so um this palette has actually got a mixture of gels and powders on the inside but i'm currently lining my brows with the darkest brown gel from the palette and if you want a more in-depth video on how i do my eyebrows just go ahead after this video check out my channel and i've got a brow routine video on there so um yeah feel free to go ahead and have a browse on my channel and check that video out now to conceal my eyebrows i'm using the max studio finish concealer i'm using two different shades nc40 and nc45 but beneath my brow to actually highlight my brow i'm using the nc40 concealer and um, not only does this highlight my brow but it also helps me to tidy up my brow as you guys can see my eyebrows are really grown out and um the concealer helps to eliminate the um the hair that grows just beneath my brows so yeah um i'm just adding a bit of brow onto the end because i thought it was really short but for the top part of my eyebrows i'm going in with the nc45 cj finish concealer um i'm using a darker concealer just because i find that it blends in with my foundation a lot more when it's too light you have that halo effect um above your brow and i just don't really like it and um, now i'm just buffing out the concealer with the real techniques buffer brush using the laura mercier translucent powder i'm just going to set that concealer under my eye it helps remove that greasy look it just mattifies it for me a little bit better going into the sleek contour kit palette i'm using a 224 brush from mac and i'm just gonna blend some of that brown into the crease then going into the morphe palette 35b i'm just using a 217 mac brush and i'm gonna add some orange into the outer corner of my eye and then i'm just gonna buff that through with the mac brush 224 mac brush <laughs> Dipping back into the Morphe palette, I'm going to use a pencil brush and I'm just going to grab some of the black and I'm just going to put that into my crease. And the reason why I'm using a pencil brush is because I find that it helps with the precision. Um, I'm just going to use my 224 blending brush just to um, buff that out so it has a really cutesy smoky effect. Now going into my MAC Paint Pot Laying Low, this is how I'm going to create my half cut crease. Well, it's not a half, it's, it's a semi full, half, semi, girl, it's not half, it's not full, I don't know, it's a semi full. But yeah, um, <laughs> I'm just using, I believe this is the 214, forgive me if I'm wrong, I'm going to list it there anyway. I believe it's the 213 or 214 brush from MAC. Using my Crayolan Cream Gel Eyeliner in colour Ebony, I'm just going to go ahead and give myself a wing liner just because I think this look would be pretty incomplete without the classic wing liner. Um, as you guys can see, I always start my eyeliner from the um, outside and I work my way um, towards the inside and I'm using the angle brush, a 266 angle brush from MAC just because it's a really small thin angled brush so it helps me make my um my wing liner as neat as possible now i'm gonna go ahead and use my boot black liquid eyeliner from mac um i'm gonna go over the cream liner just because i find that it gives it that jet black effect so yeah um now i'm just gonna go ahead and apply some mascara before i put my lashes on moving on to the skin i'm using smashbox primer photo finish and i'm just gonna rub that into my skin as if it's a moisturizer <laughs> using my iconic illuminator 
I'm just gonna add some drops onto my skin before applying my foundation. Um, this gives me a really healthy, glowy, summer sun-kissed skin. So before applying my foundation, I'm just gonna rub that in like a moisturizer. Guys, I am so sorry, honestly. I did not realize that my camera was not recording and I so wanted to show you guys how I applied my foundation, but I'm really, really sorry. I threw the biggest fit. I literally wanted to just wipe my makeup off. I was thinking, what's the point of continuing with this tutorial? But I thought, oh, let me just keep going and I'm sure you guys are going to forgive me. So I love you guys and um, <laughs> just stay tuned. I'm going to have so much more content for you guys. But going in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder, I'm just going to set the areas of my face that I've highlighted um, with my concealer. So that would be under my eyes, my chin, the nose, ugh, the nose of my bridge, my bridge nose. Oh, what nose bridge? Oh my God, yeah, my nose bridge and my forehead. Um, I'm just gonna, yeah, put the Laura Mercier on there to set it. Going into the Morphe 35B palette, I'm just gonna add some of that orange under my eyes. And then I'm gonna go in with my MAC eyeliner in color Ebony, just to give my eye more definition. And then I'm just gonna use the pencil brush just to smudge it in a bit. Dipping into my Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood, I'm just going to use the 213 brush from MAC and I'm going to apply that into my tear duct. You guys know I love that tear duct. I love it when it's got a pop of colour in there. Using the Chestnut Lip Liner by MAC, I'm just going to line my lips. You guys know I live for chestnut and cork. I just think it goes with everything. And because I couldn't find a nude matte lipstick, I thought, let me just put some of the paint pot on my lips and guys it actually worked so it's all about using what you have really and then going into my sephora face powder in deep 54 i'm just gonna apply that on my face just to really set everything and get everything together using the sleek contour palette in dark i'm gonna use the darkest brown so the color that i applied on my eyes i'm gonna use that same brown to contour my cheeks and my nose bridge and using Real Techniques setting brush, I'm just going to dust off the excess powder off my face. Again, going back into my sleek contour kit and I'm gonna mix the two colors, so the highlight in the middle and the bronzer in the end. I mix those two together to give me that orange peachy shimmery look on my cheeks. Now I'm gonna go back into the Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood and I'm gonna highlight and give myself that glow. Using my favorite setting spray, the Urban Decay All Nighter, I'm just gonna set my entire face. Guys, when I say that this setting spray keeps your makeup, it's not even a lie. So this is the outcome. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Once again, guys, I'm so sorry for not having my face in there when applying my foundation. <gasps> guys, forgive me. But if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button and comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see and see you guys next time. Bye.